A new year is finally upon us. It is a time for us to reflect on the past and look forward to the future. Let me set you the scene. You have a like, New Year's party with your family, your friends, whoever, and then the countdown begins. You know, the usual three, two, one, boom, and the fireworks go off, everyone's hugging each other, having a great time, you're having a great time, you're very happy, very excited, and then you think to yourself, you tell yourself, this year's gonna be different, I'm gonna finally, I will finally start going to the gym, I will finally get control of my diet, I will finally lose weight, I'll finally talk to that girl I see in the library who I think is very, very nice, and then you'll make a New Year's resolution. And then you remember, that is what you told yourself last year, and the year before that, and the year before that, and then, you know, before that, and then you realise nothing's really changed, even though you keep making up these resolutions. But in your mind, you keep convincing yourself this year is going to be different. And then I tell you... Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? So then, title of the video, New Year's resolutions, bad, not nice, e evil, silly or something. I've never made a New Year's resolution in my life, not because I'm weird and superstitious, it's because I don't like waiting around for things. Every year, many, many people across the world make New Year's resolutions to fill that gaping emptiness within their hearts. It's like the usual stuff, like going to the gym, changing your appearance, changing your mentality and stuff. It's like, oh, pick up a new hobby because you're so boring that you need this weird new niche like thing just so you can sound interesting to others. And did you know that 88% of New Year's resolutions fail within the first week? Wait, hang on, sorry, sorry, I forgot. My, I forgot about my New Year's resolution, which is stop making up bullshit facts on the spot. If you want to change something in your life, you should not wait until New Year's Day and New Year's Eve to make it happen. Because waiting for something else prevents you from achieving the thing that you want to achieve. So you gotta, st you got to take your own action right then and there. If you, you have this goal in mind already of what you want to be, but the reason many people feel, because they already see the goal, but they don't think of the journey, and then when they f find out that it's too difficult, too hard, they just give up and stop. And so into a lot of people give up straight away, which is not very good at all. For me, I don't like to wait around, as I said before. For example, like if your New Year's resolution is to quit smoking, and you think of that, ah, oh, in July or something, and then you then you wait until December time to think, oh yeah, now I will actually s stop smoking. Like, mate, you're smoking. You don't have and you don't have time to think and wait around. Legit, changing your habits from like the previous year and your entire life is not going to change within a week. You're so used to. Living your life that way, a small, quick change is not going to cause create long-term effects. You don't expect long-term results in the short term. They say, I'm going to show you this isn't bullshit. <laughs> it takes 66 days for a habit to become normality and part of your routine. So you should probably focus it on one step at a time, one day at a time, like one minute, and then eventually just keep building up and take each day as it is. The only factor that will allow you to reach your goals is you yourself, not the amount of rotations the Earth does around the sun. Because you can only experience being rotated around the sun a set number of times in your life. And how many of those rotations do you want to spend not being the best version of yourself or constantly looking back and think, oh, I should have done that differently. I should have not done that. I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is don't wait for New Year's to make a resolution. So, and if, even if you fail your New Year's resolution, don't give up. If it doesn't work the first time, try again the second time. And if it doesn't work the second time, keep going and try again. And then eventually, Hopefully, if you want it that badly, you, you'll get it. Once again, thank you very much. I know I'm a, I'm a lot closer to the camera now because my room's a bit tight, but I'll see you again. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, thank you. This is Ramos Islam. See you later.